This week's business book recommendation is for Quiet by Susan Kahn. This book is about introversion, what it is, a history of how introverts have been perceived over the years, and how we can harness the power of the yin and yang between extroverts and introverts. So what did I learn? Well, I learned what introvert actually means. Like many people before reading this book, I thought introvert was another word for shy or quiet or even geeky. But actually your point on the introvert to extrovert scale is defined by how you recharge your batteries. Extroverts find energy through stimulation and socialization. Introverts recharge in solitude or less stimulating environments. I learned that a third to half of us are introverts, but the many elements of modern society, our school system, our work, our reward systems, have been designed to favour extroverts. What does it make me think differently about? Well, in any of the introvert-extrovert tests, I always landed very high on the introversion scale. Not only did this always somewhat confuse me, as I had misunderstood its definition, I always thought it was a weakness to be worked on, a bad thing. This book, which I read many years ago, suddenly allowed me to understand it's not bad, it's just different, and that it's the balance between the two types that will drive innovation, improvement and success. I recognised I just need quiet time to recharge, it's who I am. And that there are a bunch of us introverts trying to fit into this extroverted world. What actions did I take? Well, not only did I embrace this part of who I am, I was determined when I became a manager that I would allow for the optimization of the environment for both introverts and extroverts. Not all tasks would be set as group projects. I would allow people access to information in advance so they could shape their thoughts. And team rewards wouldn't always be social events. What has the impact been? Well, I think taking this management approach made me a better leader. I was often told by my superiors, oh, you've really gotten so-and-so to come out of their shell and contribute. And I knew this translated to, well done, you've created an environment that allows so-and-so to flourish. It's also had an impact on my energy levels and my ability to recognise when extroversion would be a better set of behaviours for the environment. I protect my alone time, knowing ultimately it will allow me to contribute more. And I have learned how to display extroverted characteristics when the situation calls for it. If you're an introvert or work with other people, <laughs> this is, book is a must read. It will help you get more out of yourself and those around you through a deeper understanding of what extroverts and introverts are. This is another book that changed the course of my life. Very highly recommended. Have a wonderful day.